Yeah, hi everyone. I hope last week's lecture on perceptrons was a nice, yeah, easygoing introduction into the overall concept of supervised learning. So, but yeah, of course we want to solve more complex problems, especially in deep learning here in this class. So in this lecture, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about yeah, the linear algebra conventions for deep learning. Because yeah, um, deep learning kind of heavily relies on basic concepts of linear algebra for making the notation a little bit more convenient, but then also to implement things in code more efficiently. But yeah, no worries, um, these will be uh, relatively simple, straightforward yeah, applications of linear algebra. So here I just want to lay the groundwork so that we can then later talk about how we yeah, represent multi-layer neural networks that can solve more complex problems such as the yeah, <laughs> XOR problem and many other things like image classification. So yeah, um, in this um, lecture, I want to briefly talk about the use of tensors in deep learning, then how we work with PyTorch in terms of uh, yeah, using or working with tensors. So this will be then the concept of multi-dimensional arrays. And then I will talk a little bit about um, vectors, matrices, and then the concept of broadcasting. So this um, third section will be particularly about the broadcasting, which makes the work with vectors, matrices, and tensors more convenient. Then lastly, I will end this lecture with um, some notational conventions for neural networks. So there's some little, I would say, um, discrepancy between textbook uh, notations where we have linear transformations in textbooks as the uh, yeah, weight vector times the inputs. And then in computational tools like PyTorch, it's usually the other way around to make things a little bit more convenient from a computational perspective. So here I just want to yeah, give you an overview so then um, things will become easier later on in this lecture when we talk about yeah, certain concepts like uh, convolutional networks and recurrent networks where these yeah, things heavily uh, rely on uh, high dimensional tensors. So, but with that, uh, yeah, let me then get started with the first video of this week.